Okay, telling time. Next video. Uh, this is gonna be another quick one too because I'm getting you ready for how to tell time for the next video I'm gonna make after this one. It's probably gonna be the last one for tonight, but uh, for this one, it's gonna be really quick. I loaded you with a lot of vocabulary, as you can see, because I feel like you're gonna need to know some of these vocabulary to know uh, time and also give you a break from all the grammar stuff that I've been explaining. So besides grammar and all that stuff, I think I'll load you with some vocabulary words that you could learn. Um, know this, uh, know it by heart. It's not gonna be easy from here as you keep studying. And I'm telling you that because this is a hard language to learn. And especially if you speak an Indo-European language like English or it's, it's Germanic or something, it's gonna be hard. Uh, it messes with your brain a lot because the words are just so different, different origin. And yeah, so let's get right to it. The first word is garon. Garon meaning now, right? Garon. Sometimes you'll hear people say karon dayon, which means right now, as in right now, karon dayon. But karon means now or today, right? Today, karon, karon dayon, right now, karon just means today or now. Karon dayon also has uh, um, <clears throat> another way of being said too, and it's ora orada, which means right now. I think that's also borrowed from Spanish, like ora orada, right? So caron dayon is the same as ora orada, as in right now. In Spanish, they say uh, they say in Spanish ahora mismo. Well, here is ora orada. Um, yeah, ugma is the next one. It means tomorrow. Uh, ugma. So here I put that important sa preposition, right? The only preposition that we mainly use. So ugma. Um, and I wrote it down soon too, but people will say, oh, ugma sabuntag, meaning tomorrow morning. But they have to use that sa preposition again. So they'll say things like, hmm, ugma sabuntag, then they'll say something, they're gonna, what they're gonna do, etc. Uh, the next one is kagahapon, which means yesterday. The ka in the front right there is optional. So you don't really need to say kagahapon. You can also say gahapon, which means yesterday. Cebuano is one of those lazy languages that like to shorten things. So that ka is also optional to say kagahapon, you know. Or you can say also with that sa preposition again, kagahapon sa buntag means yesterday morning. Next one is kaganina, which means... <clears throat> like a while ago, right? So that ka again is also optional. You can just say ganina or kaganina. They both mean the same thing, a while ago. Usahai meaning sometimes. Usahai. There's a song about that too. Usahai nakadamgo ako, which means sometimes I dream. Um, next one is kanunai and pirmi. They're both synonyms of each other. Pirmi is more borrowed from the Spanish. I think sounds more Spanish, but has a Spanish uh, origin. And Kanuna is more native, indigenous, so they both mean the same thing, which means always, always or forever, kind of all the time. Uh, kagabi'i, kagabi'i means last night. So they'll say things like, oi, sa kagabi'i, and then they'll say whatever they did. But if you want to say tonight, you say karon gabi'i. So again, they'll say karon again, which means today. And then they'll use gabi'i meaning night. And then remember that nga ligature, right? The karon, nga, gabi'i. And since karon ends with the, with the um, N already, we can just add the NG ligature there. So it'll be karon gabi'i which means tonight. So, kagabi'i means last night. Uh, buntag means morning. So, buntag meaning morning. Uh, hapon means afternoon or evening. Uto means noon. That's the 
the highest point when the sun reaches the highest point of the day. So noon. Usually it refers to 12, 12 in the afternoon, 12 o'clock. That's the high noon when the sun is out the highest. But it means noon. And gabi'i meaning night. Again, you see the two vowels at the end. You have to pronounce them separately. There has to be a glottal stop between the two vowels. Moving on. So, adlao means day. It also means sun. Adlao. Uh, semana means week. That came from the Spanish language. Semana meaning week, right? Bulan means month. If you change that L to a W, buwan, you get moon, right? So, bulan, buwan refers to that lunar cycle in a month, the 28 and a half days-ish, which is about a month. And that's where we get the word bulan from buwan, the moon. Tuig meaning year. Again, the two vowels. Tuig, right? Tuig. Uh, meaning year. And especially during New Year's, you'll see people saying bagong tuig, which means new year, right? Again, bago meaning new, that nga ligature, nga bagong tuig, new year, just FYI. Uh, panahon meaning the time being or the time being now, panahon, uh, puhon, I put an asterisk there too to explain to you something else, but puhon meaning someday, puhon can also be used to start, uh, to start a subjunctive mood or express express a desire or a wish sometime. So that, that can also use to start the subjunctive or a subjunctive sentence. And then unya or taot taot. Unya means later. Taot taot is another synonym for it. Sometimes people would just use it together. Like unya taot taot, right? Uh, then we move on to kagabhion, right? Kagabhion, which means the night or... Uh, Nighttime. So, happening last night. Kagabhi on something that was happening last night. But, gabhi anon. Gabhi anon meaning nighttime. So, happening like at the night of today, of right now, the nighttime. Kagabhi on and gabhi anon, right? Boom. Last one we have is kaugma on. Kaugmaon. And this one means the future. Kaugmaon. Sometime in the future. Remember, you see ugma, right? As our root. And you have this circumfix, right? A circumfix right here and a, and right there. Kaon, right? That's one of the affixes we use in Cebuano. So, circumfix around that ugma, you get kaugmaon, and it means future. Alright, and that wraps it up for telling time.